the little bro jack is finally here and this guy has been long overdue so i'm very excited to finally have one to share with you guys should you pick one up let's find out so the little bro jack comes in at 6.2 inches overall we've got a blade length of 2.7 inches the blade style is clip point with a satin finish and the covers are dark matter fat carbon copper so of course i had to get my little bro to look exactly like my big bro because you just gotta have matching right like big bro little bro it just makes sense now the big bro was one of the first jack wolf knives that i ever made a video on and i was so hyped about it because not only was it my first step into slip joints but i just realized that what kind of slip joint ben was designing something that was very sleek and like elegant but in the same way hard working and rugged if that makes sense i know those are complete opposites but I hope you understand what I'm saying. The walk and talk on the big bro was a lot stronger than what I was used to. You had a lot of room to open up to that blade without having to use the nail neck. Fat carbon and camo carbon was like a brand new thing to me too. So I was just like over the moon with the big bro jack. I felt like it was absolutely perfect. And to this day, it's still one of my favorite Jack Wolf knives slip joint. The little bro came in though, and I don't know. I think I kind of like the little bro a little more but for different reasons. So for me, the big bro felt like a really good primary knife. It felt like I could just leave everything else at home and just carry my big bro with me. It had enough retention where I felt comfortable stabbing into things or cutting open boxes without it like closing up on me. But the little bro just feels like a better companion, like a secondary knife almost, right? For me, I use a lot of my slip joints now to kind of process food, whether I'm having lunch or dinner, this thing is what's cutting up the food right in front of me and the little bro just feels more like that kind of slip joint it's small but very much capable and for me it just feels like it's a good secondary knife which is i think what most people regard to slip joints as just like a secondary thing whether you're cutting up food apples whatever it is the little bro jack i feel like just kind of fits that better the little bro still has all the things that i love about the big bro of course like the clip point blade the satin finish the dark matter fat carbon scales like everything is still there just in a shrunken down package even ergonomics are still really good right everything all four fingers cover that up thumb goes right at the top of that blade the walk and talk on this one does feel a little lighter and i'm assuming that's due to its size but you're still able to utilize that print script to open that up you can still close it really comfortably too so it really does feel like just a shrunken down big bro which i like i feel like sometimes when you have a big knife and you transform it into a little knife it just doesn't always work but with the big bro it definitely does now as far as price point we're looking at the same price point 299 dollars that gets you your slip joint it gets you a leather sheath microfiber cloth two stickers and a pog the packaging on Jack Wolf knives are always incredible. That's something to never complain about. And the $299 price point seems steep for many, and I totally get that. But I've never received a Jack Wolf knife that I've never been over the moon with. Fit and finish is always perfect. I've handed these to people that normally don't own knives, and they are always incredibly impressed. So in my opinion, $299 is definitely worth it. You also get a wide variety of options. Some of your options are Camo Carbon Flow Party, Rosewood, Fat Carbon Nebula, Kiranite Crystal Lake, and the one that I have, Fat Carbon Dark Matter Copper. So ultimately, should you get the Little Bro Jack, for me, if you're looking for a really good secondary knife, the Little Bro Jack is definitely worth it ergonomics are there really great steel nice hollow grind for all of your edc tasks and walk and talk is just perfect not strong enough not light enough it's just perfectly tuned so i definitely think you should get one if you're looking for something that's primary maybe you just want to carry a slip joint around then maybe i'd recommend something like the big bro again just my personal opinion but the little bro does drop today at 2 p.m eastern 11 a.m pacific at your authorized dealers you guys know that I love my buddy Brian over at Blade Capone, so if you want to pick one up, he will have every single variation. His link will be down in the description. And that is it, guys. That is everything you need to know about the Little Bro Jack. Again, highly anticipated. As always, Ben knocks it out of the park. It's been awesome being able to continue to build this friendship with Ben and Donnie over at Jack Wolf. Anything they drop is gold, honestly. I've enjoyed every single release, and I'm not saying that just to kind of butter you guys up. I really do enjoy these knives. I think they're incredibly well made and we have some really fun stuff coming up with Ben that I'm excited to show you guys. 
But that is it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys pick one up. I hope you pick up what you're after if you're hoping to score on the drop today. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.